Welcome guys to this demo of the brand new Suta Triax pedal. Uh, this is a magnificent little box. It's a boost pedal. It's a filter device, sort of, you can take it in from, from a clean boost to sort of a treble you know, booster kind of thing, to a fantastic noise gate that is very transparent, very reactive and, you know, just all around great. And uh, what you just heard in the intro was uh, this pedal boosting an already heavily gained amp, the Suta LA25 Mark II. And just to show you can tighten up, you know, low end, we're gonna, you know, look at how I got those sounds as well. Uh, but stay tuned because after this part, we're also gonna hear it boosting a more plexi style circuit also in the Suta LA25 for more classic rock kind of tones. Um, after that, we're going to also be looking at how we can incorporate this into a pedal-based setup with overdrives, other boosters, and say a fuzz pedal, for instance, and see both how it acts as a boost and coloring device, but also how well the noise gate works in those circumstances. So stay tuned, it's going to be a long video. All right, so this is the amp I've used for the entirety of this demo, the Suta LA25 Mark II. And as you can see, it's on channel three, the most heavily gained channel. The gain is pretty dimed. The uh, bass is pretty high and also the low cut is not engaged. So it's quite overly bassy and heavy. And this is then to show how the pedal can handle a woofy kind of overly bassy sound and tighten that up and just give it more aggressiveness and, and punch and distortion as well. All right, so you saw there, channel three, a lot of gain, a lot of bass, low cut disengaged, so quite a meaty fat sound, which might not be the best for a rhythm tone in this context. And if you have a amp like that where you don't have a low cut and you can't really dial all that low end out particularly, you might use something like a TS circuit to boost that mid. That is a very popular thing, but that also introduces more noise into the sound. Uh, so then you might have to use a separate noise gate for that and vice versa. Uh, so with this pedal you sort of have all three in one. You have a boost, you have a tone shaper, sort of a, like an EQ, EQ circuit, and you have a noise gate in one pedal, which is really great space area as well, but also a cool idea, I think. So uh, starting out with the, you know, so just the bass tone, this is what I used before activating the pedal. <laughs> So, I mean, not a bad tone, but a bit undefined and not really, you know, aggressive enough for the context of this demo. So what I then did was I used the, the top knob uh, of the pedal, which has the most upper mid sort of like a, almost like a treble booster kind of thing, really kicking the upper mids and, you know, showing off low end and really aggressive. Boosted it. I didn't need that much more gain. I just need a little bit of push in the front and then the noise gate. So then from this to this. And silent. And like this amount of push and you know mid-range push would introduce a lot of noise to the signal. So if I back off the noise gate, here that's a lot of noise. And I have a real noisy studio. There's tons of lights and equipment everywhere. So I mean live you might not have this this much noise issues, but you might have it set way lower than I have now. But I mean I can't record with that. So just dial that out and I have the tone I want. No issues with noise in the recorded track. And now let's check out the EQ portion of the, you know, the boost. So with it off, on, on the more transparent mode. So tighten up. A little bit, boosting a little bit, and just shaping mid ever so slightly. So not a lot going on there in the, the tone shaping 
uh, area. So if we start by dialing up the first uh, step of what I would call the mid-range sort of shaping. <laughs> Right, without. So those sort of honky kind of mids maybe associated a little bit more with the TS style circuit. This, by the way, is a, my Fibonacci basic guess using uh, Langren uh, Heaven 67s right now. So not all hot pickups, like, you know, hotter PAF style pickups. So you can still get a lot of gain out of, you know, a guitar like that with this setup. So second mode without the pedal. Mid is a little bit more pronounced, a little higher than the last section. which is why I preferred for this song. So let's then check out the, the range of the boost. So let's go back to a transparent mode. As I call it, it's not really called transparent mode. I feel it's most transparent. So no, like no boost. Just shaping the tone a little bit. So boost at nine o'clock. Boost at twelve o'clock. Boost at three o'clock. Like you really hear the amp sort of pushing into silly territory. And if I go up to the most pronounced mid-range and let's say I put the boost at three o'clock. Of course, this amp is already clipping heavily, so you will notice I just add more gain. I don't really increase the level at a, in an perceivable rate, so since it's already clipping so much, so this is just a way to add more gain. If this, let's say this was the max amount of gain my amp could give me, then I could really crank that out using the, the boost level on this pedal. So that was the, the high gain application I use it for. Now let's move into the demo part of the more vintage approach where I'm pushing a, more with the boost, less gate, less mid push and just pushing that sort of plexi style, M style circuit instead. <laughs> That was the more vintage rock kind of uh, demo of this pedal. Now you already know the amp, so let's just uh, say that I used the second channel, plexi mode engaged, so lower gain, more of M style circuit in it, same EQ settings basically, and the gain around two o'clock. So just this is the bass tone I got. <laughs> And this here, early 80s Greco Schenker Flying Wii. Why? Because it's, it's cool, that's why. So, 
to do here is get a little bit more of that pushed M style circuit almost going into fuzz territory a little bit and a little bit lower mid-range push as well so with the pedal <laughs> And as you can see, I have the gate much lower set because I don't need as much gate on this tone as I used on the high gain tones, less noise in the circuit. And I used a lower mid-range boost. And as you can hear, I'm pushing it just on the edge of getting into that almost fussy territory where the amp just kneeling sort of into it. So almost. Basically. But you can still clean up. Sorry, wrong pickup. So just because you add that boost and have it always on, doesn't affect your, you know, possibility to clean up the guitar just using the volume control, which is also a great feature. Some boost pedals just don't do that. Not sure why, but that's just the, case, the way it is. So for the solo, I used the same thing. The only thing I did was just crank that boost up a little bit. And then I raised the gate to compensate. So you heard that little bit of noise enter the signal. Get it out. And then I got that sort of almost fast, you know, amp on the edge of exploding kind of tone that I wanted. <laughs> Which I love in this context, you know, of this particular style of music. I, I just love that sound. But let's now say that you were doing back nine gigs with clean amps, Marshall, Fender, whatever, and you need to get all your distortion, fuss, everything from a pedal bass setup. Well, you could still find a place for a pedal like the Suta Tri-X even in that application. So we're going to cut over and show a little bit more of the pedal setup and I'm going to guide you through how I would use this in that kind of setup. All right then, welcome back to the last part of the demo. Using the Suta Tri-X with a pedal board setup. So uh, I have the engine, dry bell, which is a sort of a Plexi Marshall in a box type pedal. Sounds great. Also, you it has a built-in range master treble booster kind of circuit, their own. Uh, also have the Mythos Organut, which is a Octafuzz. Uh, no knob Octafuzz. Sounds really great before overdrives. And then I have the Suta in the middle. So let's say I come to a gig and this is my bass tone. Uh, still on the plexi mode, uh, low gain. So good pedal, you know, platform. And let's listen then to the, the foundation, the engine uh, at its core tone. <laughs> Good sound. And switching over to the next single chord. You know, good single chord tones, tones. Problem here is, as you can hear, the hum, the 60 cycle hum, which might be even worse in a live situation with bad power or whatever. And if I lift the guitar up towards the monitors and the lamps, it's going to be way worse. 
Here comes the Suda to the rescue. If I put this with a boost on zero and the color flat and then just use the noise gate. Bam. Gone. Nothing there. Still sounds the same. So that's one application for it as a standalone sort of noise, noise gate. You could of course use that to draw out a little bit of the woofiness in the low end of the engine. It's quite a bassy pedal as are most of these plexi style amp in the box pedals. They all, most of them have this almost artificial sort of woofy low end which is I suppose meant to emulate what a plexi sound like on real loud volumes but on lower volumes into clean amps that can also be a problem. So if I put this up just to the first level and <laughs> I lose that woofiness just as easy as that, not, not even adding any boost or anything like that. But that's one application I would use it for if I find myself in a noisy gig and I'm happy with the rest of the sound. I can use that to just remove the noise or shape the overall tone a little bit like I would with an EQ. The uh, problem is uh, if I use that I would have an EQ and a separate noise gate pedal. This, If I'm tight for space this could be a, a all-in-one kind of pedal. So. Uh, then we go into a boost. Let's say I want more gain than for, for lead, for instance. I have this. Also great tone. I mean, nothing wrong with that. I could use the Suta as an alternative to that to add maybe a little bit more you know, mid-range to tone. If I felt the EQ on the pedal wasn't enough, I need to poke through a little bit more. Still, no noise. And this is really apparent if we switch over to the single coils. Now this is my higher gain tone. <laughs> Quite a lot of noise. Using the Suta instead, flat mode, no noise. And still, you know. Cleans up as well as the built-in boost. With that said, pedals like this won't clean up as well as an amp, of course, that's a given. Uh, so, noise, no noise. If I want to, say, completely change the tone, this is high gain with no. So, much more mid honkiness. I could also with, since this has so much boost on tap, here you will hear it, you know, surpassing the level of boost. Let's say put both of these at three o'clock. So this with single coils, this is the engine boost. Quite a bit of noise. Silence. So you could boost the shit out of, pardon my French, the engine, but you know, still no noise, even with single coil. So that's also another great application. Finally, using an, you know, an Octafuss introduces a lot of noise just on its own. Pair that then with this one. Mm -hmm. 
that's a lot of noise. Uh, so you're pretty much just playing all the time. But let's say I instead use the, uh, the Suta. As it boots some level of boost just with the noise gate. Silent. <laughs> Silent. So that's the way I would use it with pedals. There's of course a myriad of other applications. You can use this last in chain, first in chain, you know, experiment with it. But I found it to be a very, very versatile pedal, both in the studio for recording and live as well as a sort of a secret weapon on my pedal board. So I hope you get to try it and I hope you enjoy it. I know I did. So until next time, take care. See ya.